wildflowers line hundreds of miles of roads across the Lone Star State. Thousands of people drive out to see them, to take photos, and it's all thanks to our Texas Transportation Department. Now, I went out to I-35 near Round Rock to learn how it's all done in this morning's Take This Job. The smallest seed probably out there is the Indian paintbrush. And along with blue bonnets, these beautiful wildflowers color the fields along our highways, adding beauty to our road trips across the state. TechStop buys around 30,000 pounds of seeds every year, encouraging the growth of wildflowers along our highways. We save money on mowing. We put so much money into the tourist industry because, I mean, if you look at the tourist industry that comes to Texas just to go look at the wildflowers, it's amazing. I mean, it, during the peak of the season, you can't find a hotel in Lano or Fredericksburg because people are all out there looking at the wildflowers. And they also have rules in place to encourage this wildflower growth. Carrying on the legacy that was started so long ago, I mean, uh, we have a memo from back 1937 that said do not mow the right of way until the wildflowers have set seed. All of this to preserve the growth of wildflowers that paint our landscapes. All right, Dennis, put me to work. I'm ready to go. Nope. You have to put on safety equipment on everything. I always have to have a hard hat on, okay. safety glasses, and always the orange vest so the public can see you on the highway. All right. First thing that we're going to do is we have a hydro seed here. We're going to start it up, get it all working, and then we're going to add some hydro mulch to it. Which is green, by the way, so they can see where they're spraying and don't miss a spot. And this is where the pretty flowers come from. Once this thing mixes all the hydro mulch and makes a good slurry, then we're going to add the seed to it. And then once the seed is added, we'll turn it on and spray the seed out over the right of way. That, my friends, was harder than it sounds. Like that? But I got it down and... Whoa, that's good, that's good, that's good, that's good, that's good, that's good, <laughs> that's, good that's good. Got my section done in no time. <gasps> oh my god, this is a lot of work. And now, yeah, Dennis wanted me to try a different method of planting. Oh, okay. The belly grinder. Ooh. Friend better. I agree with you. <laughs> Even though you do get tired of holding yeah. that thing and it gets wore out, that is still a much easier method and it's a much faster method. Though I will say the belly grinder fares a lot better than the good old bucket method. And that's when you know you've been in trouble. Out of a one to ten, what do you think? Oh, I have to give it ten. Am I higher? Am oh, I your new colleague? Yes, you're my new colleague. Woo! <laughs> I like when the, the, the water hose or, yeah. you know, the hose yeah, took yeah. you out. That was really funny. <laughs> I had a lot of fun. I learned so much. Dennis is awesome. Yeah, he seemed really cool. He put me to work. He did not shy away. And what was it called? The belly what? The belly grinder. So um, that's usually used for smaller areas. But okay. he just wanted me to, you know, try it out and, it and try my hand at it. But, yeah, you just put the seeds in there and it um, plants the seeds. Beauty is work, right? Yes. And uh. those uh, wildflowers are beautiful. Beautiful. You know the Indian paintbrushes are the most expensive seed. Ooh, yeah, I like those a lot. They're the smallest seed too. Interesting. Good to know. Thanks mm -hmm. so much. Well, passing the bill.